go ahead and turn those on and you guys are all gonna be like wow that is really freaking bright hey guys what is up and welcome to my first ever video on YouTube and welcome to hair and makeup by Padilla so first things first I want to give a shout out to my brother for the awesome new video intro I hope you guys all enjoyed that um, I want to shout him out real quick his Instagram is Zachary is hip and his TikTok is Zachary Padilla Zero. If you want to go give him a follow, he makes some really awesome skateboard TikToks. So if you're into skateboarding or you know someone that is, go give him a follow. And he gives awesome, great tips and he's great at video editing, video making, all that fun stuff. It's his passion. So definitely go give him a follow or a like or check out his page to see more of his stuff. Anyways, in this video, you're going to be getting a room tour, and I just got a brand new vanity, and on my Instagram, you guys did vote yes to seeing a video of my room, so today is that day, and I've been waiting to get this new desk vanity for like years, okay, like years, so please enjoy this, I've been so excited to film this, and continue watching if you would like to see that. Thank you so much and let's just get started in the video. I'm gonna start on this side of my room and just work my way around so you guys will see all of it. I will try to give detail and all that fun stuff. So thank you for watching and let's get right into it. All right, so first things first, this is my wall when you first walk in. So here's my closet and a nice little poster board frame thing that I got um I actually made this myself it was originally a picture frame and then I was like I'm gonna make this a little collage board thing or whatever I want to put up there so that's that um this side of my room really isn't that exciting but the rest of it we will get to and that'll be a little bit more exciting okay guys so now I just moved over from my closet in that first scene you saw um Right here is a salon chair that my aunt gave me. Um, she retired now and she doesn't live here in Nebraska, but she used to own a salon here in Nebraska. Um, these are some really cute um, slug bug pillows that my mom gave me for Christmas a few years back since I own a Volkswagen Beetle. I can also do a car tour sometime if you guys would like to see that. This is a big teddy bear that my boyfriend gave me. And then right here are all my plaques and some medals I won from dance competitions. And then right here is a old window frame or window that my mom's friend made. And then she put on it without dance, what's the point? And then there's a picture of a point dancer or a ballerina. And then right above that, she made another picture, and like I said, you can't really see this on camera, but I will definitely get a close-up of it. But it's a little picture with some flowers, and then my studio, my old studio's logo, and it says, Why dance quiet when you can dance out loud? So, like, this little corner right here is just dedicated to dance, where my heart really did, like, it was a passion of mine. It still is a passion of mine. I love still dancing. I love thinking of dance routines. Whenever I hear a song, I still like picture a routine in my head or whatever. So I definitely do miss dance and going to the studio and seeing my friends and just looking forward to that every day after school. Like, oh my gosh, I gotta go dance. I gotta go dance. I gotta go dance. I gotta work on my routines. I gotta be with my friends. Like all of that fun stuff. And then right here are all my Morphe palettes. This shelf is from Ikea. And I like it because it has a little bit of a ledge. And I have these um, on the other side of my room as well. And you guys will see those. But I love this shelf. It's great for makeup palettes if you want to display those. For vinyl, anything like that, it's great for. But yeah, I have all my Morphe palettes displayed here. So I can kind of flip through them. And it's just fun to have them out and displayed. Um, I have some other little products as well. But I love Morphe, so mainly... All of these palettes are Morphe palettes. So let's move over a little bit and we can show you my vanity. 
my favorite part of my room or one of my favorite parts of my room is my vanity and I just got it so that's kind of what inspired this video but let's move on to that part of my room this is my vanity that I just got and guys I am so in love with her like I have been wanting her for like literally years like years i've been wanting this vanity this desk it's from ikea a lot of you have probably seen it it's called the alex desk or the alex drawers whatever like you've probably seen them so it actually this comes completely off this top part it's not even screwed in it's just kind of laying on these drawers um these drawers are called the alex drawers um Real quick, this right here, my mom got me for my birthday one year. It just holds like a lot of like little knickknacks and my little snacks that I like and some Advil and all that stuff. It just kind of holds it down here. And then let's move on to more of the vanity. This is like a little mini fridge type thing. It's for all my skincare. So I have some skincare in there. And you guys have kind of seen that in my earlier video of the time lapse of me getting this desk and putting it and setting it up and all that fun stuff. So all my skincare is kept in here. And then I have naturally really dry skin. So when putting this on cold, it just feels amazing. Like, And then right here. Um, I got these at TJ Maxx. Also, the fridge was from TJ Maxx. Um, I got this for a birthday gift, though. But these little holders were also from TJ Maxx. Um, so this one is a little bit farther away because these are the brushes I don't use as often, but I still love them, so I wanted to keep them. But these are just the ones that I don't use quite as often. And then these are the ones that I use frequently, um, pretty much every day. These ones are my like, everyday brushes that I go to. And then back here is like eyelid primer, um, lash primer, glitter primer, all that stuff I keep in this one back here. And then I have this cute little sign that says you make me blush with a um, makeup brush on it. And I love that. Then I got this from Walmart. I don't want, since it's all white, I don't want to get makeup all over it and then have it like stained completely. So I got this from Walmart. I do plan on getting like a bigger one or something different, but for now I just decided to get this and it's cloth so I can throw it in the washer if it gets super dirty and clean it all out. So I'm not like worried about getting this all dirty and makeup-y because I know me and I know this mirror was from TJ Maxx as well. And it's an impressions mirror if you haven't heard of them. They sell a lot of different types of mirrors and all that kind of fun stuff. I'll go ahead and turn it on for you guys. And you can also like change the kind of light it is or whatever. So I usually keep it on that like the more natural lighting. And then you can also turn down the brightness just by holding it so you can see that it went down in brightness and then you can turn it back up if you would like and then up here is another picture that my mom's friend made she made the other ones like the dancing ones she made this as well and she made this for my quinceanera um and it says be your own kind of beautiful and it's wearing like a big poofy dress just like i wore on my quinceanera I think that's really cool. It probably took her forever because that is so detailed. Um, and I put it right above my mirror just because it's like goes with the whole theme of like you're beautiful. I have two other lights and my dad actually made these for me and put them up a few years ago with my old vanity. It kind of had a mirror here and then the desk was right here and it was just a little shelf. Um, but I decided to keep these up because when I'm filming videos or like when I'm getting ready, I just don't really feel like this is quite bright enough for me. So I'm going to go ahead and turn those on and you guys are all going to be like, wow, that is really freaking bright. But it works and I love it, especially if you're getting ready like late at night or early in the morning or whatever. So here we go. Three, two, one. Yeah, it's like hallelujah. Like you're probably going to heaven right now. Yeah, don't go towards the light, whatever. But I love this setup. I love how bright it is. And then I got this chair the other day at TJ Maxx as well. And it was like 40 bucks over here. 
is a hourglass and it's from the tail the new taylor swift album folklore and it says august slipped away in a moment of time because it was never mine Ha, get it august slipped away and it's an hourglass and then it says folklore on the bottom um this is a taylor swift perfume bottle and i just like it because i feel like it's very like aesthetically pleasing to have it then i have a taylor swift coaster and these are the reputation coasters and it's like in the shape of a guitar pick which this is the head of my bed and then we'll move to the um end of my bed so up here i have some more of those ikea shelves that have the nice little grooves in it um and then these is my all of my taylor swift vinyls literally all of them i have every single album on vinyl except for the four chord one which is coming in the mail i got a notification that it's coming in the mail i'm also getting eight different vinyls from the folklore so they're all like different colors and stuff um and then all eight of the different folklore albums um they had different pictures on the front like the different cover photos and then these are like the different lover so from her lover lover album she did like little booklets so she had four different versions of those so i have all those let's move over a little bit more to like the window ledge but i also have some doggy steps that go up to my bed because my doggers don't like jump up and she's this is desi she's a little bit older she she doesn't really like to jump and she has some back problems this one's Zebby. They usually are always here. They've been here the entire time. I've Back here on my window ledge, I have some Kleenexes, my drinks. I got this candlewood. It's cedarwood. I feel like it smells like a dude, and I kind of like it. But I got this from TJ Maxx the other day. Um, this is a plant that one of my coworkers gave me for my aunt passing away. And then I have a JBL Bluetooth speaker. This is like amazing. I love this. I got this at Best Buy. And then this thing is cool. I haven't lit it. I'm probably not going to. It's a Dr. Pepper candle. And a friend, my um, Lucy girl who is not with us anymore. And a picture of me and Desi. Some pens. This is a dolphin that my boyfriend gave me. I have a giraffe statue that um, my, I got in Jamaica. This is a um, little beetle, Volkswagen beetle um, car coffee mug that my mom got me. And then I have a dance mug, some more pictures of me and my boyfriend, a picture of Hunter Hayes, a Google Home Mini, which I love. It controls my lights. Here, I'll show you. Hey, Google, turn off my lights. It's amazing. I love it. Okay, Google, turn on my lights. All right, turning on three lights. I love it when I'm laying in bed. I can just be like, okay, Google, and it does its own little thing. And then over in that corner, I have two trophies from my dance career. And then I have a dog stuffed animal that I got with my boyfriend one time and two dolls that my grandma gave me over to the other corner of my room. This is the chair I used to film on and I used to have it at my vanity but my mom got it for me for my birthday one year. It says wake up and make up and it's like a little director's chair. Um, behind me this is a Taylor Swift reputation flag thing, um, tapestry, whatever you want to call it. It's pretty dope. It's kind of creepy to look at at night. Whatever. This is a Taylor Swift cardboard cutout that you see like at Target or Walmart or wherever, Best Buy, when they release a new album. And it had a bunch of like reputation albums that you could buy. And this is like at the front of the store. I got this from um, my work. And they were like, one of my coworkers came up to me and, she, and he was like, um, so I know you really like Taylor Swift, and at the end of the night, that, um, is free, like, he's like, we're gonna just throw it away if you want it, and I was like, uh, yeah, I want it. So, now it's in my room, and I love it, and it's, like, one of my favorite things, because people that are huge Taylor Swift fans always freak out when they see it, because they're, like, it's, like, most places were not giving them out, like, you couldn't just go there and be like, hey, can I have that when you're done with it? Like, no, they threw it away. And so I have a bunch of... Up here is a Taylor Swift pillow, Taylor Swift blanket, my old license plates, and a picture of Taylor Swift at her red tour. 
and another picture of Hunter Hayes up there and I don't know if you can really see that but that's from when I met him. This, I kind of organized this in a weird way but this is kind of like my reputation shelf from a reputation album but I have a Taylor Swift Polaroid, the box that came in, some Polaroids. These are um, pin Taylor Swift 1989 hat, some Taylor Swift shoes, and then other Taylor Swift shoes. And down here, this is, these two shelves are kind of like my red album shelf. I know, I'm weird. Um, so these are the Taylor Swift Diet Coke cans. These were limited edition. They only sold them at Baker's and Hy-Vee, I believe. And on the cans, it has like her signature, and then um, it says, if you're lucky enough to be different, don't ever change, and that says it all over the can. I had the box that it came with, and then when Diet Coke was doing like lyrics on Coke cans, I have one that says, we never go out of style from her song Style. And then I have these red tour shoes, and they have all the different dates of the location she visited on that tour. And then I have like a Christmas ornament and an old phone case for an iPhone 4. And then I'm going to move the camera down a little bit so we can see the next shelf. Here's my boy Skipper. You can't really see him. I'll hold him up. Oh, this is my Skipper boy. You go baby. Elf has some Taylor Swift perfume. This is the Wonderstruck perfume. I have three different ones. My brother's fiance she actually gave me these they're actually Katy Perry ones which is kind of ironic since they had like that big feud but it's I like them whatever um then I have some Taylor Swift guitar picks I don't know if I said that and then this is really cool I've never opened this and they don't make this anymore but it has all four of her albums well, not all four but four of her albums at the time this was like all four of them um and it's a actually a stack of paper um these are all wonderstruck perfumes these three have never been opened these are samples that i got for christmas one year um this is the taylor swift 1989 mug some more perfume this one back here has never been opened either and then i have a 1989 keychain that broke off and then a speak now necklace that also broke and i love it though i made then there's some bracelets from her concert um, and then down here, this is, um, like my 1989-ish shelf. So this is the Incredible Things perfume. This is my favorite Taylor Swift perfume. Like, it smells so good. Every time I would wear it, I would get so many compliments on it. Like, so many. Um, and then I have the 1989 tour heads and just, like, the red tour heads. They have all the dates of wherever she, or not the dates, but the, all the cities that she traveled to on that tour. I have Taylor Swift socks. I have these sunglasses that were um, similar, or like the ones that she used in her You Need to Calm Down music video. I have a Taylor Swift mug on it that has the different eras of Taylor Swift that you see at the end of the Look What You Made Me Do music video. And then I just have more perfume. This is her Taylor by Taylor Swift perfume. Um, like that other one that I have on my vanity. These are just like the smaller versions. And then behind it, right here, I have a 1989 ornament. This is my um, TV and my TV stand. All of these are mini brands. They're all different Taylor Swift magazine, more different Taylor Swift magazines. My um, 65 inch um, QLED TV. I got this from Best Buy. And then over on this side, I have my Nintendo Switch. I love this. I've been playing Animal Crossing lately. And a Blu-ray player. This is um, Sony. I got this at Best Buy as well. And then I have a bunch of movies down here and a bunch of more movies on this side and then some vinyls. Thank you guys so much for watching and sticking around and watching my room tour. Um, be positive about the small things. Find something small to be happy about. I will give you one simple one. Be thankful that you woke up today. Maybe someone didn't wake up and now they're away from their loved ones. 
whatever. Be thankful for something small. That's my one small thing for today, for this video, is that I got to wake up today and I'm breathing and I'm not in a hospital on a ventilator or anything like that. I'm in my own room. I woke up in my own room. So just find something thankful to be about, happy about, like the device that you're watching this on. Be thankful that you even can afford that or anything else like that. Anyways, thanks guys. See you later.